It's on big one, big one. Nice. Is it real or what? Yeah, yeah, big one, big one. Where the captain? Where the umpau? Okay, I'm not so big, lah. I think. Wow, let's go. Wow, this one deserves it. He eat my rubber. Let's go. This thing yeah doesn't work. Let's go. Admit it, it's my Tanya. No, it's my rubber, bro. What is it? Say it. Uh, it's my rubber, my Z-Man rubber. Let's go. Hey guys, I'm in in the boat currently with the Black Pearl. Just want to share to with you what my rig was just now for the orange spotted. Uh, it's a little bit more unique than usual. Uh, this is my bottom setup. This is a 50 grams fluorocarbon leader with a drop shot inspired rig. Uh, but the only difference is that the sinker is a Tanya. Tanya with uh, that is 110 grams if I'm not mistaken and it was rigged with a prawn. Orange Potter Grouper actually chose to eat the uh, Z-Man rubber. So this Z-Man rubber is rigged up with a 1, point, uh, 1 over 8 ounce weighted worm hook. This is paired with a curly tail Z-Man rubber and he chose to eat this instead. So you can you guys can go ahead and try out you know, different kinds of methods for your bottom jigging and this can be one of them. So you're actually increasing your chances a little bit more. You have a very bright tanya at the bottom to actually entice them. And subsequently, if they choose to, uh, if they are more aggressive, they actually whack your rubber more than the tanya. And the tanya also is rigged up with a dead dead or alive prawn. Entice them to come smell from the prawn, right? The predators can actually come and uh, hit your lure much more at a higher rate, basically. So that's the rig that I used just now early on. So yeah, there we go. <laughs> that's, a, that's, a, that's a true blue account. Yes, yeah. Okay, guys, uh, for this part of the video, I actually opened my veil so that I'll be able to touch the bottom of the seabed. And that's very, very important because you want to feel the bottom floor and make sure that uh, it's bouncing. Keep bouncing it a few times. Okay, and then subsequently, there we go. You see a heat on the rubber, and uh, you need to do a very, very strong set to bring up the fish else he might go into some structure and pull your line off number number three don't pull right son i hope the no. No. Oh bro, hit the thing again! <laughs> hit my rubber again! Alright, we'll put Tanya again. Let's go! <laughs> hey Liv! <laughs> your your Tanya, Tanya is sinker, bro. Tanya is a sinker. Alright, <laughs> 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 yeah, let's take the rubber again. Let's go! He refused to eat the Tanya. These oh. They're big on safe sex. Let's discuss a little bit more of the rig. So maybe uh, just to share with you the cons about this uh, rig is that this is a very expensive rig. In case you sunko, right, you will lose your tenya and your Z-Man rubbers and your offset worm hook or your worm hook. Do take note, uh, this is a technique. Uh, it's quite good but on places where there aren't a lot of structures where you can get sunko. For example, we are actually fishing around uh, East Coast Park or uh, the ocean along East Coast Park the area that they kind of a body of water where the bottom structures aren't so rocky it's more of like a bit of sandy uh, muddy the kind of um, structure and the groupers are actually hunting not a very good te technique if you drop it in st john's lots of rocks there so very easy for you guys to sunk so yeah that's the downside of using this uh, rig hey so, hey hey kena, kena, kena. Oh, oh, big one, big one. Okay. Why he choose your one, not mine? Yeah. <laughs> you must, must pretend you're drinking water like no like Oh, yeah? <laughs> Let's go! Ah, go. Yeah, yeah, big, eh? Let's go, Gupa. Nice. Ah. Wow. Okay, la. Can you smell onion? Ah, can you smell onion? Can I smell onion? No. Go, go here. Open view. Set. Nice, oh, big one. Oh, big one. Nice. 
Net Ami. Ah, not bad guys. Our CR 16 pieces of uh, orange potted. Oh, orange potted. Oh. Yes. God dang. 